Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Home Chef Heat and Eat Italian style lasagna with meat sauce. It was um, $8.99 at Kroger. Home Chef is like a Kroger brand. I'm just going to pull this off real quick. Um, there's what it looks like by the way. So this one is a 12.75 ounce meal or 361 grams. Uh, let's see, how many calories is it? There are three servings in the container, so one third of that is 220 calories and there's the other info for you and to heat it up it's pretty straightforward Re uh, remove lid from container so we're going to take this lid off um, heat on high for six minutes and then blah 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 make sure it's hot all that good stuff okay so that's all there's to it so i'm going to take this lid off if i can get the lid off And I'm going to get this in the microwave and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave and uh, I haven't done anything to it. I haven't touched it. I did put a paper towel over top of it. It didn't say to do that, but I put a paper towel on it just in case it uh, splattered or anything like that. It didn't, didn't affect it any. So you can see you get the layers of lasagna, quite a bit of meat sauce in there. Um, it kind of looked sloppy, like put in the pan, but once you microwave it, it doesn't, doesn't look too bad. Uh, it doesn't look bad at all now, but plenty of the meat sauce... And it looks like there's plenty of uh, noodles in there as well. So yeah, so I'm gonna cut this up into smaller. Just I don't mind if it's a uh, if it's mixed together a little bit. I don't. It doesn't have to be layers for me. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute. I'll be right back. All right. So here we go. Got a bite of everything. I love the texture of that meat sauce. It's very good. They didn't. Uh, they didn't grind the hamburger up or the ground beef up um, so much that it's really fine and like sandy like. It's kind of chunky piece of uh, ground beef, so I like that. I don't like it when it's really fine, uh, finely ground. Let me just say there's a lot of it too. Um, I said ground beef, but it might actually have um, some sausage in there too. Um, ground beef, diced tomatoes in the juice. Uh, tomato juice, uh, sea salt, um, no, just the just ground beef. Okay, it kind of has a, the seasonings in there. Kind of has a sausage kind of flavor, uh, which is not bad. Like an Italian sausage is really really good anyway. Um, so the the texture of the ground beef is really really good. The texture of the pasta uh, is good. Let me try a bigger hunk of the pasta just to make sure. It's not quite as firm as I like it, but it's firm enough. It's I like it mine just just right at cooked. Um, this is a little soft for that, but it's still not overdone by any means. It's not mushy or squishy or soft or anything like that. It's 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 good. Um, it's just my personal preference. I like mine a little uh, firmer the noodles. Um, like I said, the texture is really good. You get that creamy uh, ricotta cheese too. Uh, it has a creaminess to it uh, texture wise. So texture wise, it's really good. I like the texture of all of it. The flavor is also really good. Like I said, the flavor of the ground beef almost has a, almost like a Italian sausage, but it's not spicy. Don't, don't think it's spicy, but it has like those same seasonings in there like an Italian sausage would. So I really do like that. I'm sure I'm getting some of the flavor of the cheese in there too. But it doesn't, I mean, I, I definitely get the taste of that cheese but it's not like the overpowering flavor most of it is the the meat sauce and the and the tomato sauce um meat sauce that uh that i'm really getting the flavor from so i like it i, I like the flavors of it quite a bit yeah i have i have nothing to blame about this it's really really good i actually like the flavors i like the texture um I would get this lasagna all the time. It was kind of sloppy looking like, like somebody just scooped it up and slapped it in the pan. But once you heated it up and cut it, it's perfectly fine. It looks perfectly fine. So $8.99, I think the price is a little high for what it is because you can get a frozen one. It's not quite this good. I do like this better than a lot of the frozen ones out there because the frozen ones, the pasta tends to get a little tough. But, um, but I do like this texture uh, and the flavor is really good. So it's better than a lot of the frozen ones. I still think the price is a little expensive. 
um, $8.99, you can almost make your own for that uh, whole pan of it, right? So I wish it come down uh, just a couple bucks on the price, maybe be around a $6.99 mark, and even then it's still kind of iffy um, because there's no way three people are eating this, honestly. Um, you might be able to squish out two people, maybe, but even then it's kind of iffy because it's, it's, it's not that much. So um, it's really a meal for one at $8.99. Maybe you don't think it's that bad. I think it's a little high for lunch, but um, hey, it beats be making uh, going out and getting a cheeseburger for sixteen dollars. So there you go. So um, I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. I really do like it. I would suggest you go try it if you have a Kroger in your area and they sell these. Um, the lasagna ones, one to try because I really really like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.